If you decide to take a trip downtown this weekend, you're going to notice uh, probably a few changes to parking. Yeah, parking meters, they're out. Zone parking is in. NBC4's Karina Chung joins us now live. Karina, what does the city want people to know and what are visitors saying about this change? Jen, you can see the remains of the parking meters right here. It's just the metal poles left. Instead, you'll need to look for signs like this one right here. It has a variety of different ways to pay for your parking spot, and you'll need to know two big things, your zone number and your license plate. Metered parking, for the most part, is a thing of the past in Columbus. It does make you kind of feel like, am I, yeah, am I, can I just park here? Is it for the stores? What can I do? Here it's definitely a little bit different and not what I'm used to for sure. Maisie Talbot is visiting the city for the summer. She says at first she wasn't sure what was paid or free parking. I was kind of confused because there's some meters left. I noticed and then some of them are gone, so I'm just not sure where you pay and where you don't. The city recently finished removing meters and replacing those with kiosks for zone parking. You can still pay for parking the traditional way if you use coins, but there's some additional features. People can pay by the Park Seabus app through text, through a QR code or using a kiosk. Charles Newman with the Department of Public Services says there will be a learning curve, so residents should keep an eye out for the new parking signs. He added there will be some meters specifically for handicap parking and 30 minute spots. We have our street team out. They're going to have bright blue shirts on. If you need help parking, you can see them. I also encourage people now is a perfect time to download the app to get familiar. Folks from out of town tell me the easiest way to know what's free and what's not is with the app. Mostly I've just been finding street parking with the app and the zones. I think that more awareness and more advertisement of how to pay to park would be useful, especially for someone who's visiting like me. Newman says the rate for parking has stayed the same for residents and visitors. Now, if anyone is looking for more information on parking or how to find those kiosks, we'll have that on our website. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.